Samantha, define calibrate. Calibrate means to measure against a standard, to check an instrument to see if it is accurate, to adjust precisely for a particular function, to set an instrument so that readings taken from it are absolute rather than relative. Hmm. I don't get it. Color calibration is essential no matter what visual medium you use. It's the first step to having accurate color. Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Carlos, and it's here we talk all about photography and visual art. On top of being a photographer myself, I've been working in the printing industry for more than a decade. I've helped photographers, graphic designers, animators, illustrators, and all sorts of visual artists troubleshoot their digital color problems. A majority of those problems start with color calibration. In fact, one of the first questions I ask is, has your monitor been calibrated? It plays a big part in any visual medium. Let me know in the comments below, when was the last time you calibrated your monitor? Calibrated? I don't even know what that means. Color calibration is taking the color your device is already giving you and creating a profile that will convert it into color that is more accurate. Now it's important to note that color calibration is not a one-time thing. If accurate color is important to you, then you should be color calibrating on a regular basis. Regular? How regular? The recommended times for color calibrating can vary from a yearly calibration to even calibrating daily. Something to remember, however, is that the quality of your monitor is a factor. Higher end monitors are going to need to be calibrated less often, lower end models more frequently. My personal recommendation for desktop computers is somewhere in the six months to a year range. Now laptops are a little bit different. They need calibrating more often. I'd recommend every three to six months. For lower quality laptops, I might even recommend monthly calibrating. Huh, I wonder if this phone is calibrated. Color calibration is not just for computer monitors. Most devices you use with digital color can and should be color calibrated. Well, that would explain your skin tone. Things like projectors and printers can be calibrated. Almost anything with a screen can be calibrated in some way. Even scanners and cameras have a way to be calibrated. Color calibrating all these devices might seem a little bit daunting at first, but modern technology has made it easier for the average user. Most calibration is done with a little bit of software and a measuring device, like this one or this one. Some devices, however, have limitations in their calibration. In order for most devices to be truly color calibrated, you need access to that device's operating system. You see, during the calibration process, you'll start with a measurement. That measurement is then analyzed. The data from that analysis is put into a profile, and the profile gets installed in the operating system to create a conversion. Now the limitations come into play when you don't have access to the operating system. These limitations form three different types of color calibration. There's what I call primary profiling. This is when you do have access to the operating system and you can install the profile directly, like calibrating a computer monitor. You would use a device like this called a colorimeter, and with some software, it'll display colors full screen and the colorimeter will measure how your device is outputting that color. The software will then take that analysis and create a profile and install it on your computer. Then we have secondary profiling. This is when you don't have access to your operating system but you can apply a profile through another program. An example of this would be your camera. You don't have access to its operating system, but you can apply a color profile to its images. You would use something like this. This is called a color checker passport. During your photo shoot, you would take a picture of this, and then in your post-production, in your photo editing software like Photoshop or Lightroom, you would use this image and the software to create a color profile and apply that to all your images. And the third kind of color calibration would be simple color adjustments. This is when you don't have access to the operating system and you can't really apply a profile. All you can do is change some settings. An example of this would be your TV screen. I'll put some links to these. Hey, what, what are you doing? Primary, secondary, Simple I'll put 
put links to some of this equipment in the description below, and I'll go into more detail on how to calibrate the different devices in other videos. Oh, that sounds good. Let's see. Subscribe. Oh, and hit the bell for notifications. Ha! Nailed it! Any questions you have on calibration, don't hesitate to leave in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with a friend, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, check it out.